Hey, it's Ole, and so it is my last day in Victoria, and I've been here for four months, starting May 1st, all the way to September 1st. Uh, tomorrow I have my flight at 11.40. It's already booked, checked in already. I'm just packing up. Um, I did some laundry before I packed. I gotta pack up, I gotta clean up the room and leave it in a nice state before I leave tomorrow. Uh, I mean, it's been a while I've, I've been here and it feels weird finally going back home, but I'm really excited to finally get back home, uh, resume with my life, go back to school. Cause over here, it feels like a different life with the military life. And I'm so happy that I came out here for these four months, but it is a really long time. I mean, I really love that you're over here and you don't really have any responsibilities for food. It's all taken care of. Accommodations are taken care of. That's really nice, but it would be nice to get back to it, you know? Um, I explored a lot over here. I mean, I explored a lot of Victoria, Vancouver Island, Vancouver, and then, you know, the interior of BC with also my Alberta trip with Banff, Yoho, Jasper. So I've seen a lot this summer and I've gained a lot of valuable experiences. And I feel like those experiences were money well spent doing those and I'll be sad leaving you know I'm, I'm sad but happy excited nervous you know just a whole bunch of mixed emotions and I can't believe it's over you know I felt like I just came yesterday I mean the weather was basically like this on my first day when I arrived and I had no clue what was going on you know you come to a new base you have no clue what's going on I remember Halifax when I left there I was like you know I knew the base like the back of my hand I knew you know, everything, how to get around. I knew the place, the city, like the back of my hand. Over here, it's, you start anew, you start fresh, and you're like, what the hell's going on? And you just gotta figure it out. But now, you know, I'm confident. I know the base really well, the areas really well. Like I can, if anyone ever asks me, like, how is Victoria? I could tell them, you know, and I can tell them where to go, all, everything about Victoria. And so, yeah, I mean, you get that from four months of staying here. And yeah, it was really nice. It was a really nice experience. I finished my courses. I'll be seller first class when I get back. So I progressed some way this summer. Um, the only thing I did, did wish I did was like a, a bit more on my downtime, a bit more progressive things on my downtime. But hopefully when I get back, I'll find time for that still. Uh, with all the studies, the work, everything, but yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. Definitely do another contract next year. Ah oh, man, the friends I made over here, that's that's who I'm gonna miss. You know, everyone started leaving and it was sad saying goodbye. Like every step, every person I say goodbye to and every step of administration I do, every step of packing I do, it's been closer and closer to the reality that I'm actually leaving after four months. It's crazy, actually. Like, staying at a place so long and being away from family and friends, being away from your home for so long, it's a weird feeling. And I hope I, I see my friends, the friends I made here in the Navy. I mean, it's a small Navy. Hope I see them around. Hope I see them next year. And, I mean, I'll take a contract next year. Probably a shorter contract so I can do a lot of other things during the summer, like travel and then come over here, maybe do my two months or something, do a course and head back. But uh, definitely an amazing summer. And I'll remember this, progressed a lot, as I said, um, bettered myself as a person. And yeah, and the Navy is really great for that. So I think it was, joining was the right decision, taking this contract was the right decision. And I'm, gonna about, I'm about to have my last meal well, last proper meal. I'm going to have breakfast tomorrow, but my last dinner over here, I'm going to enjoy it. All right. I'll see you, Victoria. See you, West Coast. So the room is clean. Everything is wiped down. The tables are all wiped down. The carpet has been vacuumed. Beds have been set up. I only use this side, so I cleaned mainly this side, although I did still help wipe the desk on this side. Um, but everything on my side has been cleaned up. I've left a slip saying I'm doing a march out today, 
everything has been cleaned up. The TV is left how it is. There was never an HDMI cable, as I mentioned, and that was always there. I'm not gonna touch it because it's lost and found probably. Um, so everything is worked down, cleaned. The fridge has been emptied. It's clean. Garbage has been changed and nothing will be left behind when I take all my bags. My last time in this room in Bernays West 302 and I really, I did enjoy my stay. Uh, I had two roommates and the one roommate for a while and then another roommate for like 11 days and then I was by myself for a lot of the time, which was really nice. And um, yeah, it's gonna kind of be sad to leave this place. I mean, it's the, the room qualities are all right and you kind of just make it what you make it, you know, you, you make the best out of it. And um, I mean, I had a pretty neat room, I would say. And it's gonna be kind of sad leaving this place because I've lived here so long and now I'm finally just heading out and I'm not gonna be returning again. So, um, it was definitely a cool experience staying here, and I'm going to be saying goodbye to Bernays in CFB Esquimalt. All right, back at the airport. So we just checked in, finished checking in those three bags, and they were quite big actually, really heavy bags. Um, now I'm heading over to security, going to get on my plane. And oh yeah, the flight did get delayed, so originally it was going to be at 11. Uh, but then it got delayed to 2.15. Yeah, so I'm gonna be here quite a bit longer. Yeah, that's, wow, that is quite a bit longer. Okay, anyways, yeah, well, I guess I'll get to relax. I thought I was just gonna come right in time because I did leave slightly late, later than I would would have wanted, but I guess it got delayed. So, you know, anyways, Ah, I guess just more waiting in that case. All right, see ya. So now my flight says it's coming at three, so it's been delayed even longer. So I'm gonna be waiting here even longer. I guess I should get comfortable in that case. We are finally starting boarding. It will be at gate 12 right there. After a very long delay, we are finally boarding and it's currently it's two, no, it's three. Yeah, it's currently three o'clock right now. So let's get on that plane. Hey, we are back in Toronto, landed and everything, man. Four months I haven't been back to this place and it's it's been too long, you know? So I just gotta pick up my baggage, be on my way home. I'm so excited to see everyone again. All right, awesome. <laughs>